All right, let's try to, let's, I think we can finish this little fella. We're just gonna kinda, Okay, let's get this all down a little bit. Let's come in between them legs a little bit more. We're gonna get all this. We just sort of round him off a little bit. And if you look at the front of the legs, of course, they they have to be brought down. They're, they're too uh, wide, too big. So we're gonna start doing that. So we can have a these are have to be brought down. Now the legs of, of, of a skunk are not tiny. They 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 do have some um, they do have some um, you know thickness to them, but they're not they're not huge either. You know they're not. What you call extremely huge or anything like that. But when you look at them, you want to make sure that they are uh... now. We're gonna go ahead and, and we want to be real careful here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little nose in here. Make a little cut. Sort of come to the outside and make a. There we go. Make a little cut. Come to the outside. Make a little cut. Come to the outside. We want to be very careful when we do this because. Um, we don't want to. We don't want to put a lot of pressure on it, and then you come up underneath here, and I'm gonna come from the inside here just a little bit, up underneath here. So you want to just kind of. The nose is not real, real big, but it's okay. Now let's look at these ears a little bit. We want to come in between here come back here and then we want to just kind of make them stand out a little bit back here of course this has to come because the ears are not real large they're not uh, big ears or anything like that in other words we kind of come through here come through here where they stand out a little bit Try to get them. This one needs to come back so it will kind of equal out with the other one. See? Just sort of like that. Just sort of like that. And we want to just do this a little bit. The tail is looking very good. Now uh, we're going to shape that tail up a little bit but always remember on a, on a, on a uh, skunk that the tail starts it starts uh, small at the back I'm gonna take a little bit of this off in here it starts small at the back and then it comes up and it bushes out like that where it bushes out uh, to the thing Now, let's go ahead and separate these legs some more. Later I'll get in, I'll get in here with a, a moto tool. Right in here I, I take and uh, separate that a little bit more. We try to get most all of our carving done with a knife and um, let's 
so we want to See, he's looking, he's looking good. I don't always try to make everything perfect. I just get in the ball feel of how they look, in other words, and give them a distinct look in life. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cut in here just a little bit, get them legs kind of separated. There we go. Like that. I told you, this is probably the, the, the most difficult part of carving the, the skunk himself. And then from this point to the ears, we, we, we really bring it up like this. There it goes. See? Like that. Because it actually up right there. Just like that. And his back comes way up too also so so like I said you don't have a lot of, of that he's just about finished uh, let, let me let me take like I said let me try and and get a little bit deeper on these legs they're looking good which I come back here and I just sort of bring those legs back a little bit As I've told you, this is the most difficult part, is these legs. Getting in between these legs and getting them shaped, as you see this area in here. All right. Let's get these saw marks off here. If you want to, you can even... Um, you can even uh, kind of take a gouge and gouge this tail to kind of look like it's uh, fuzzy or whatever or if you have a, a lot of bits that are used for um, uh, in on uh, Fordhams or something we will we'll give it sort of a texturing look Okay, he's a, he's he's finished. He's looking good. I want to get this just a little bit like that, where it doesn't look like just a straight line almost. Okay, well, this is this is the our skunk let me uh, I'm gonna go in I'm going to wet him there's a few little areas like in here that we're trying really is tough to get into but I'll get into them later let me make this a little bit thinner Notice how I hold my finger against the back of the 
foot so I don't press too hard and break it to keep it from being broke. Okay, let me go wet it. Okay, I brought both the possum and the skunk uh, to show you. There's a the little possum, and here's our skunk. And uh, they will be in a scene together. And the next thing we're going to carve, I'm going to just kind of make this straight right here. I see things that maybe you don't see. Okay, uh, we're going to make this uh, possum and this uh, skunk, and it's going to be kind of like this. In other words, when we get through with it, when I show you, he's going to be up, up further up, and the skunk's going to be down here, and um, so... I'm just doing this a little bit, just kind of... There we go. Okay. Alright, there's our possum. There's our skunk. Okay? So we have uh, one more thing to do, so a little carving on. And then we'll, we'll be ready. Be ready pretty soon to work out our scene. Okay, thank you.